with the most channel bell as always welcome back welcome back so i'm doing a little bit something different today i know i know uh, normally i would be doing like my non-horror movie of the week uh but you know what there's something that's been kind of on my mind and i kind of want to talk to you guys about it um couple of remakes that have been announced um potentially coming within the next year or so a couple of years um, and that is the remake of Jacob's Ladder and Candyman. Now, I just read earlier today uh, about Candyman. I know uh, it's been said that Jordan Peele has either signed on or is thinking of potentially doing this remake. Um, I forget who's on board to do the Jacob's Ladder one. Um, but here's the thing, you go. Here's the thing, you guys. First off, you know, you guys, you guys know that I'm usually typically not the fondest I should I shouldn't say fondest but I I'm very critical of remakes I'm often very hard on them there's all of like maybe four remakes that I've seen that I really really like and I mean I'm not I'm not trying to like bash remakes because you know what remakes can be a good thing um it may make you appreciate an original even more after seeing it whatever like I you know at the end of the day Remakes are remakes. They're not so bad, but we have been like saturated for years with them. I think that's why I'm so uh, with remakes. But but no, let me let me let me talk about these two because I feel like these are two really good examples of movies that the original ones were so well done. Uh, I mean, they both have flaws. I get that, but they were so well done that I feel like there's no need for a remake for either movie. I mean, first of all, like, Jacob's Ladder, that is such a terrific psychological thriller that it's like, how can you redo that? Especially, like, now I'm like, are they going to keep it along the lines with, like, the PSTD uh, of, like, the Vietnam War? Or are they going to update it and do it, say, more of uh, like the Iraq, uh, um, Afghan, Af Afghanistan and Iraq wars and stuff, and kind of like more modern take on it, which, I mean, it might be a pretty, like, interesting idea, kind of like make it a little more modern, but once again, I feel like, like, how can you do a, a psychological thriller like this in today's, like, time period? Like, I, or I shouldn't say, like, time period, but I just feel like, I don't know if, it's going to work as well because I feel like, uh, I don't know if it's going to be done properly. Like, that's the thing. I feel like the psychological thriller part is just kind of get, get kind of like mushed up and everything and pretty watered down. Um, that I don't know if it's going to necessarily work. Uh, I mean, I could be wrong. I could be wrong because I'm, I'm thinking of all the stuff of like, how are they going to make it work this time around? How are they going to make this remake work? Um, and then we go to uh, Candyman, another one that is... So good, so kind of creepy, great urban legend takeoff and everything of it. And um, I don't know how you can like do this one. And here's the thing, here's my issue with this one. Jordan, like I said, Jordan Peele is going to be, it looks like probably he's going to be the guy who's going to be doing this. I'm okay with that, but here's the thing. I'm a little hesitant because... Yes, you know, he did Get Out. I really enjoyed Get Out. I thought he did a terrific job. But, you know, I kind of want to wait and see what he does with, like, the Twilight Zone reboot. Um, I know he's working on um, another movie right now. Another, I think, like, sort of, like, suspense-type movie. Um, you know, and I want to see how he really kind of takes on that stuff. Because, yeah, Get Out, like I said, was really good. He did a really a really great job of doing that one but it's one movie it's one movie I want to see kind of how he does and what he does with future projects before he takes on a project like this of remaking Candyman and a lot of you guys you know know by now the, uh, who have seen like who've been watching me for a while like Candyman is one of those movies for me uh, very much too like Jacob's Ladder that I really hold very near and dear to my heart and it's one of those movies that I just cannot get enough of so I'm you know that's why I'm a little hesitant it's like 
like don't mess this up like please like can you just put this off a little further and I even it's weird too because even like a few uh weeks ago I was kind of thinking about Candyman and I I thought I had this thought to myself of like thank goodness they have not remade this movie and I hope that they never remake this movie Fast forward to today and I read this and it's just, like I said, I'm just very kind of hesitant on it. Um, do I think Jordan Peele can do it? Possibly, but like I said, I want to see what he does with um, his upcoming projects, specifically the Twilight Zone reboot. Like, how is he going to, you know, do that? Is he going to try and kind of keep it true to the original Rod Serling's? Is he going to you know, maybe put more of his mark on it or maybe do a combination of both, you know, because I mean, I would like to see sort of his take on the Twilight Zone uh, reboot and everything, but like, who knows? Like, you know, and that's the thing. If he does put, does put his own kind of take into it, what's it going to like turn out as a product, you know? Like, is it going to be just like, okay, he's just trying to take the name of Twilight Zone and do his own thing, or, you know, like, what is he going to do? Like, I just, I'm so kind of worried about this. I'm kind of a little hesitant. Um, you know, to do a remake so soon is just, it's it's a little, it's, it's makes me a little nervous. I don't know. I mean, and who knows? I could be totally wrong about this. I, he could do this uh, remake and it could truly be really, really good. But we'll see. We'll see. I don't know, you guys. Uh, what do you guys think? Like, are you guys kind of looking forward to this? Do you guys think that these are two movies, two examples of movies that were so well done initially that maybe we don't need the remakes? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below and everything. Uh, Till next time, you guys, as always, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.